how long does it take for boosters to develop protection in your body? And if you get COVID, how long do you remain contagious? These are the two questions that I'm answering today, guys. I'm Dr. Jen Connell, practicing family physician. Let's just get started. We'll start with the booster question, okay? Um, hopefully, you guys are getting your COVID vaccines and getting boosted when it's time. This is honestly one of the most important things we can do to fight COVID. Um, boosters actually start developing protection in your body the minute you get the booster. However, you don't really develop full protection until about two weeks after you get that booster. So two weeks is sort of the name of the game in terms of when you are fully protected, but that's not unfamiliar, right? That's, that's what we say about the primary series of COVID vaccine and also with other vaccines too. Flu shot, we say it's about two weeks. Uh, so two weeks is sort of your golden number, okay? Keep that in mind. That's why it's important to get that as soon as you can. Let's now move on to how long are you contagious um, if you have COVID? Well, this is interesting. Uh, according to the best available data that we have, um, if you have mild to moderate COVID, um, our best available data suggests that uh, you will remain infectious for no longer than 10 days after the onset of your symptoms. Now, 10 days, right? Sounds familiar. By the way, this is according to the CDC. 10 days, that number should sound familiar because um, we see a lot of five days, 10 days, et cetera, in terms of our quarantine and isolation guidelines. And of course, it's this data that the CDC is using to inform those quarantine and CDC guidelines. So just note to self about that. Um, now, if you had severe to critical COVID illness, or if you are severely immunocompromised, that means you have a very weakened immune system from an underlying medical condition, medications you're taking, things like that, transplants, et cetera, et cetera. Um, uh, if you fall into those categories, you are likely to remain infectious no longer than 20 days after symptom onset. However, there are some potential exceptions with that. You could be contagious or rather infectious longer uh, in people who have severely weakened immune systems. Guys, again, this is according to the CDC. Super important information. You guys have been wondering some of these questions about how long you're infectious, how long you're contagious, how long boosters work. Uh, I'm going to do my best to keep answering your questions because this is super important. This is the world that we are living in, unfortunately, right now. My goal is to keep you and me and my family and your families, uh, all of us safe and that we all get through this pandemic together. Guys, let me know if you've had COVID. Uh, let me know if you've got your booster as well. Please put those in the comments. I'd like to hear. Hopefully uh, you haven't had COVID and hopefully you have had your booster. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Caudill, practicing family physician, on-air health expert and video creator. I do daily videos. For those of you who send stars, I respond to you personally. Please uh, like and follow my page, by the way, and consider joining my subscription group, Dr. Jen Superstars. And also I've got my group called I Got the COVID Vaccine on my Facebook uh, as well. So check that out. Make sure you join. And for those of you who are on a YouTube hello um, please subscribe to my channel and click the little bell for updates guys I'll see you soon